Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to help you find duplicate files on your computer. So it's called Glary Duplicate Cleaner. It's by Glary Soft. So you just download, install it, you run it. You pick your drives. So you could either do the whole drive or you could pick specific folders. And you probably want to do folders if you know where they are. Otherwise you might find a lot of duplicates that you don't want or don't care about. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we'll start with drives first. So on this computer, we have the main C drive with Windows and the apps and documents. Then we have this data drive with a few folders on it. So we'll click on scan. Okay, so it breaks it down. Documents, audios, or should be audio technically, pictures, programmer, and other. So you can see now it found all these documents that you probably don't care about. You can expand it all the way across here to see the whole path. And you can see the date created for the original and what it considers a copy. And also the date modified and the size. Then audios. So this is what I mean by you probably want to either pick folders or what you could do is go to the edit menu and click on configure the scan for parameters. So here you could kind of fine tune what you're searching for. If you want to ignore files less than a certain size, scan all files or scan only the most common files. So if you check this box here, then it'll kind of give you just the most commonly used file extensions there. And of course you could uncheck these add your own. So let's see if it has doc in there. So it has doc, but I don't see DOCX. So you can tell this is a little older program, but it still works pretty well here. So if we go star.docx to add that to the list, for example, but it'll probably find it anyways, just because the doc. Okay. Now we click on scan again here. All right, so now this time, you can see it found some text files, PDFs, Word documents. Then if you come up here and you click on Click Intelligent, it'll suggest which one it thinks you should keep uh, based on the date. So whichever one is newer, you could also check all, check none, check invert, check options. And here you could fine tune your options here for what it displays. And then once you pick one, you could permanently delete them or just delete them. Then you can also go to the file properties here. If you want to see more information, go to the folder where it's located. Set any exclusions. If you want to exclude this particular folder and then you could also check your excluded folder list. So I don't have any folders excluded. And then you have the same general options here as well. Then if you go up here to view, if you don't want to see the groups, you can go to all file view and it'll put them side by side and kind of give you a better view here of everything along with the date modified and created, which the other view should, but for some reason it's not when I was in group view. Then you could click on check intelligent and it'll check them all based on what it thinks here. And then of course you could just go through these manually. And if you want to open one or open with or open the folder, view the properties, make it the original, exclude it, you could do all that from the right click menu. And then you come up here and generate a report. It'll be a text file. So let's just call this duplicates here. All right, let's take a look at it. So this might be something to import into Excel, make it a little bit easier to read there, or if you want to do any sorting like so. All right. So that is your basic overview. So you'll notice down here in the corner, they have an update to pro version, which will have some additional features. And down here it has the total of the items marked for deletion, which is zero in this case. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Glary Duplicate Cleaner and then you could try it for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.